Hey guys, Chronicle here, and in this episode of uh, my Mario Kart 9 predictions slash suggestions series, um, this is going to be more on the suggestions side, uh, as opposed to the uh, less few, which were predicting what we could see in Mario Kart 9. So, this one is particularly how Nintendo can make Mario Kart 9 not feel like a Mario Kart 8 2. Now, what I mean by that is, uh, particularly, I say that, I word it like that because if rumors are true that the NX will roughly be the Wii U's equal, or maybe even better, uh, graphics-wise, since uh, word is that it's going to be both a home and handheld console, for now anyways, uh, we might that might be clarified in September, uh, Mario Kart 9 will look very similar visually, you know, in terms of, you know, just the sharp quality and detail um, that we saw in Mario Kart 8. So, uh, it may need uh, quite a few adjustments, or maybe just one or two here, uh, in order to make it feel uh, a, uh, a bit different. Or different enough, so that it just doesn't feel like the same thing, just with different courses and maybe improvements here and there, say, for example, in, say, <laughs> an actual battle mode, <laughs> uh, which is something I'll get to in a little bit. Um, and I covered a bit, of course, last episode. But, um, namely, one considerable feature that they could revisit is two-person two carts, like we saw in Mario Kart Double Dash. Now, a lot of you might not be a fan of this idea, and I, I can understand why, because Double Dash was a bit of a tricky game, but it was a really great game nonetheless, though. I mean, just the chaotic, uh, you know, just the intense racing, um, you know, just the, the overall craziness uh, in both, uh, you know, not just the race courses, but of course battle mode there, too. I mean, that is by far one of the best games in the series, in my opinion, uh, just because of how well they nailed things down. In terms of, uh, you know, the phys physics and mechanics of the game. Not to mention how unique it is. So I think this is a good opportunity that if, uh, if they don't want to change the art style too much. Uh, and if they're happy with that art style from Mario Kart 8. Then, uh, and of course chances are Mario Kart 8 will be backwards compatible uh, with the NX. As well as many Wii U games, hopefully. Um... You know, this is an opportunity to revisit and uh, improve upon this feature. Uh, now, of course, another thing that should be brought back are, of course, the customizable carts, bikes, and ATVs, uh, without a doubt. Um, coins. I'm sure, I know a lot of you might probably don't like that this was added in the first place in Mario Kart 7, but it does help balance things out a bit. Uh, and it does add a bit more excitement to races too. It doesn't. It's not like you have to just race, get through the whole course uh, before everybody else. You know, there's, uh, you know, collecting coins really helps you uh, win races. And also, uh, double item boxes. So of course, if the two-person kart racing is going to come back, it's to be brought back. Uh, double item boxes should be too, uh, just because they do offer quite a bit of an advantage, just giving you that extra item. Uh, now, of course, tricks, too, uh, as well as uh, anti-gravity, of course, uh, underwater racing and gliding. Uh, also, uh, something that, something, uh, another feature that a lot of you uh, might not have liked too much that was, in that was introduced in Mario Kart 8, where you couldn't drag an item behind you in order to get an extra item. So, say if you had a banana or a shell, and you dragged that behind you, in order to open up your item slot for another item from, from an item box. Well, of course, Mario Kart 8, you can't do that. Uh, it's just one item at a time. So, now, Mark, and if the whole two-person kart racing is, would be, is to be brought back, um, you know, this would kind of be a thing that, uh, this was something that was already uh, in Double Dash, kind of, you know, roughly. Uh, you couldn't hold an item behind you either. Uh, you had to... Uh, you have to just throw it behind you, uh, which I think is something that could work. It's something that, uh, again, could help change the overall feel. Um, 
No, maybe they, they could always be that option to hold it behind you. And uh, maybe, of course, not just have uh, that extra item slot. Uh, unless you say, unless you got a double item box, and then you could fill that uh, that extra uh, item slot like there was in Mario Kart Double Dash. Uh, or, of course, you know, switch characters. Uh, so that the person that was uh, on the back side of the cart holding the item uh, is now the one driving. And the, and the one that was racing, was steering, uh, now is uh, the one who manages the items. So, it's just an idea. And then, the same, you know, 8-cup format that's been the last four games. Uh, you know, 8-cups, four with, new, with uh, 16 new courses, and four with uh, retro courses. Which, if you don't know which ones I think will be picked out, you can check out the... Uh, first two videos of the series in case you haven't already and um of course also uh as i said before an actual battle mode with actual you know battle arenas and not recycling race courses because that was just that is one by far one of by far the most mind-boggling decisions nintendo has ever made uh Besides, in Mario Kart 7, not having a single-player versus mode, which to me, yeah, that also bothers. That still bothers me, <laughs> even though the game's been out for uh, almost five years now. Mario Kart 7, specifically. Uh, and uh, obviously, the Mario Kart 8 <laughs> has its own pretty, uh, uh, it has its own sore thumb. <laughs> so, uh, that's, uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about here let me know what you think about this idea of uh in order for mario kart 9 to feel different say let you know just you know theoretically uh it could look a lot similar to mario kart 8 and work very similar to it so in order to make it feel different enough uh why not bring the why not bring back the two-person kart racing uh, it's something that i think worked really well in double dash and if polished and improved a bit could be even better and you know it's been, it's been over 10 years since Mario Kart Double Dash came out. Why not revisit that concept? You know, it's just uh, just you know just food for thought. And of course, the other things that have been around for the last two or three games uh, should be brought back again. Tricks, coins, customizable carts, bikes, and ATVs. Uh, which of course now uh, maybe not so sure about bikes now that I think about it. Since if we if we were to go with two person carts, um, <laughs> so uh, yeah. Now that I think about it, it might not work, but uh, the, definitely the anti-gravity, underwater racing, and gliding could work for sure. Uh, so, anyways, that's just about going to do it for this video. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. And um, I will see you in the next one.